Okay, I am so losing it. Or did I just spend all my tickets on everything? I thought it was like 17 tickets or something. Okay, well, anyway. Crystal Oscillator. Yeah, there we go. Let's research that. And what is this? The Explorer. Oh, is this a car? Hmm. Frequency mapping. Frequency... Oh, the map! Oh, so apparently we have a map and it needs... 10 beacons. Now I probably should get like... 14. Yeah, that's good enough. Good enough. Let's get the map. Because a map would be very useful. I'll actually get to see the entire world. Or maybe not the entire world, just the places I explored. Anyway. Okay, so we'll keep the beacons. We'll keep... We'll put away this stuff. Now these turbo motors need to go in here. So we do have turbo motors in case we need them. Now the batteries... We have a full stack of batteries right there and I need to get some more explosives. Alright, so... Let's go back to the third floor or the fourth floor, get some more sheets and then we'll go back and continue building out that area. We're gonna bring those quartz crystals back to base. Uh, go up here. Now again, I do need to expand the production of those uh, aluminum things, aluminum casings. And then I'm going to take as many of these as possible. Maybe not as many of them as possible. Or yes, as many of them as possible. And then I'll get rid of this thing. Leave one slot open. And then I'll reload my frames over here. Let's go down and get some... Oh, actually I can get rid of these rotors. Let's go down to the third floor, I think. Uh, what was I looking for again? Oh, reinforced iron plates. That's on the second floor. No! Don't do that. Top off my uh, modular frames over here. And I probably need to add additional production for this because the big bottleneck here is actually these modular frames. So, probably should, like, split this off. I think there is... Yeah, this ending over here. We can probably bring this over to this area and have some additional production. And then over here we can have more encased industrial beams. So, we'll probably have to do that later. But for now... Oh, forgot about the reinforced iron plates. I just need one stack of these. Just one stack. And then, uh, then we go back. So from here, take this tube, go back to the other hub on the other side of the base, and then we'll go and continue working on our quartz crystals. So even though we do have the oscillators now, we still need to automate them so that we can automate the production of those radio control units. So we're probably going to have to fill out that fifth floor now. Oh yeah, on top of the uh, uh, finishing the quartz area, I still need to upgrade all of the belts. 
uh, near our steel production area and our copper sheets. Want that going fast as well. And then we will make our way down over here. I just realized I need space in order to get all the biomass here. So we're going to put the container, put the personal stores like right here. Just put all of this in here for now. I guess we can't. We have so much aluminum sheets. And then let's build a mam here. All right, frequency mapping. We have access to the, the map, map now. Oh, thanks for telling me, game. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. So, okay, where are we? We're right here. This is our coal production area. Actually, this is the first time I've seen the map. So, here's our crude oil. Here's our hub space elevator like it looks so much different now that I can see it from the top down these filters beacons it just doesn't label resources but there's our copper ore area I think this is our production area here with the copper alloy ingots here's coal power 2 and I think this area over here is where we have our coal production. There's our... Here's our steel. Here's our iron... Or not iron. Uh, copper sheets over there. And then the conveyor belts are going like right along here. And then going over here. Crude oil and then... Yeah, here's where I did not die. Cough, cough. And here's our quartz here for the aluminum. It's going to travel up over here. Goes all the way up, then starts going down through here. And where's our coal? Yeah, it goes through here. I think we cross a river or something. The crude oil, it, yeah, it's up here. So the conveyor belts are like going through here. We cross the river. Should we be crossing one river, shouldn't it? But there's two here, so I'm, where did, where is the crossing? You know what? I really don't know. Anyway, I'm looking at the map for too long. Let's just focus on the task at hand, which is this stuff right here. Oh, and we do need to chainsaw this area. Clear out all of these trees, and then we'll have a nice area for crystal production. Or, wait, wait a minute. Crystal production? Wait, crystal production? We don't need crystal production anymore. We are already producing the crystals. What the hell was I thinking? Like, I don't know what I'm thinking about because I thought we needed this space for production, but we don't. The hell is going on? Well, either way, we do need to get this on the line here. So I guess we do need to clear this out. Clear the way for it. Or you know what? Maybe we can add additional circuit board production in this area up here.
because why not? Like, we have space up here. We don't have space down there. But that will have to wait for another time because I really don't need circuit boards right now. Okay, we're going to connect it like that and get rid of this power line. So we can build more foundations. And eventually we will have to take out that power line too. Alright. Let's just clean this up, put down the foundations. Can I cut this tree? Can I cut this tree? Yes, I can. I have to cut it at the root. It means getting rid of these foundations. Alright, so let's just fill this out. Just so we don't have to fall in there. I want to get rid of this plant here. Get the pale berry first and then let's chainsaw this. And really this area is just for later. Like I'm not going to increase the production of circuit boards right now. But once I do need to expand its production, I can easily do that. And besides, I did need to get rid of these trees. Nice, clean area. Now, I don't want to get rid of this plant just yet. It's already out of the way. Get rid of this log, though. Let's get rid of all of these rocks. This is a lot of rocks. Wait a minute. Okay, I can't get rid of these rocks. What the? Oh, hi there. All right, so let's finish this foundations. I'll just leave that plant there, let it regrow until it's time for me to build here. Okay, I'm gonna need to... I'll put this right here. And then we'll connect it all the way over there. Get rid of this power pole. And 
know what? Let's let's do this. Let's just bring it this way. Like I already have all of the the mergers going that way, so I'm just not gonna mess with it. This looks like a 45 degree angle. I yeah, probably should put this over here. Four, five, six. I'm gonna put the splitter like right over here. Wait, not splitter, merger. Or better yet, not a splitter or a merger at all. Let's just connect it directly over here. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. That's an even better idea. Now, it is the top conveyor belt we're using, right? Okay, yeah, it's gotta be it. Hello, rock. Hello, rock. Oh. Get rid of these. There we go. Then we bring this way down here. And wait, what the fuck? Oh shit. I screwed this up, didn't I? Yeah. Did it in the wrong. Fucking hell. <laughs> what? How the hell did I do that? I thought this was like... Oh. That's how I did it. Alright, so... We down like this. Let's go. Now we reconnect everything. We were going to do that anyway because we already screwed up the direction. But now this connects. Hello, rock. Hello, rock. Alright, so the quartz crystals are now heading to the factory. Next thing we need to do, continue upgrading our uh, conveyor belts in this direction. Oh, hello, rock. Like, I probably don't need to destroy these rocks, but I'm doing it anyway just because. There we go, that's a lot of ramps. Actually, I should put the ramps over here since I would have easier access to them along here. Oh, hello, rock. 
What is with all of these rocks? Well, I have plenty of explosives, so it's okay. Now, we do need to get our stuff back. And we will put the biomass in here. And maybe some of this limestone. You know what? Let's get rid of the limestone. We don't need it. Alright, so anyway, what we're going to do is continue upgrading this stuff. Okay, I think that's fully upgraded now. Oh, you know what? These conveyor belts probably should upgrade them just in case. Upgrade them to at least the first splitter. At least. And then from there, whatever happens, happens. That's all we need to upgrade, really. Okay, we are done here. So we need to get back up there and continue upgrading the conveyor belts. And hello, rock. Hello, berries. Alright, let's continue upgrading these belts here. I have almost six... Whoa! Almost fell down there. Oh, there's a slug there. Probably should pick him up. If we can. Or, I just thought of something. Why don't I just... Build a ramp. Going down there. And then let's play smart. For once. <laughs> Instead of trying to make that jump, how about we just not jump? Did I build something down there? Yes, I did. It's a yellow power slug. Yeah, that was really smart. I can see a slug over there. I don't feel like getting it. Anyway, we were going to upgrade these things. Okay, I'm going to start with the steel area first, then I'll work on the copper pipes. Or, not copper pipes, oh, what is it called? The, the roll-up things. Oh my god, I forgot what they're called. Copper sheets. Yeah. I'm already forgetting what stuff is called. Grab some of these nuts. Oh, put some berries in our inventory. Or not. We'll leave the nuts in here first. And then we'll upgrade all of these. And, oh come on, really? Okay, get rid of these leaves. Now, I want to pick up those containers. Okay. 
Can we just get rid of like one stack of this? Okay, so I'm just gonna upgrade everything around here. We don't necessarily need to upgrade the inputs, just the outputs, so that everything will go faster down the line. There we go. I mean, it should be fast enough from the inputs. And they're already MK4s anyway. So, pretty fast anyway. Now these, on the other hand, I guess it doesn't really matter, is it? They're MK3s. You know what, maybe upgrade these. These MK3s or yeah, they're MK3s, so yeah, let's upgrade them. If they were MK4s, I'd be like, meh, it's fast enough. Okay, I think that's it. Now we just need to do the outputs and then we're done. 